Savvy Rider implemented new technology to modify his 2015 GL 1800 Honda Goldwing. That Goldwing later became known as Black Flash, an extreme lighting show bike. What's going on, YouTube? This is Cornell, your tech savvy rider. Hey guys, I know it's been about a week since I posted anything. I actually had to put myself on punishment. You know when you get too cocky riding your motorcycle? It's time to take a break when you start... Um, disregarding the rules of the road so I put myself on punishment so I won't be out here acting stupid putting myself on punishment what I mean is um, you know it's, it's getting to the point now where you know summer's right around the corner more people are getting ready to start riding And people in cars and vehicles or whatever they driving, you know, are, are starting to get agitated with all the traffic that goes on around here. It's so congested. And I keep bringing this up, but the reason I keep bringing it up is because, man, it's just really bad around here. People easily aggravated, get upset because the traffic is slow. Uh, just this morning, coming into work, I want y'all to check out this scene that I saw coming to work. So here it go, right here. Look like I'm coming up on something. So I wanted to take my time and see what's going on here. Good Lord. You got to be careful around here, boy. And this is the reason why I haven't been riding my bike. I had to uh, put myself on punishment, man, for being too cocky around here. I see that's what happened when you 
when you know you're getting too cocky to ride your motorcycle, it's time to put it up and take a break. Put yourself on timeout. This town is overpopulated with cars, we have vehicles, motor vehicles. It's too many. It's too many. Uh, too many people here on these small streets, man. And everybody is running out of patience of slow drivers, people that get in the left lane and do 20 miles less than the speed limit. And it causes more accidents around here, man, because people are running out of patience, don't have time. People are trying to hurry up and get to work. And I started feeling myself in the same type of situation where I really didn't have no patience for riding behind anybody, man. You know, I, I was quick to, no matter if both lanes are filled, you know, I kept coming across riders who would take up both lanes speed limit is 45 miles per hour and they doing like 25 both cars in the left and right lane they're like they trying to talk to each other on the highway not letting any other cars behind them pass and i started doing crazy crazy stuff man like running off in the middle of the lane or lane splitting trying to get past everybody just so i can get to where i need to go because people just of being ignorant these days and it seemed like the, the closer it get to summer the worse off it's going to be because more vehicles and, and stuff is going to be on the highway and uh road rage man when you're in a crowded town it becomes epic you know you can't even pull up to a stoplight without somebody wanting to either try to uh, race or run you off the road or they coming up behind you you know, cause they speeding and can't slow down in time. So it's forcing a lot of people to do a lot of ignorant stuff on the highways. And uh, accidents around here, man, are usually fatal because, <laughs> I mean, man, you, like that truck, I, I was hoping that was not a motorcycle. It was a truck uh, with some frame of the truck laying on the middle of the ditch out there. Well, hopefully that gave you an idea of what goes on around here. Now, enough about all the bad stuff. I want to talk a little bit about Wing Ding 39. What I'm getting ready to do, uh, while I was on my little punishment, I was working on my bike. I said I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to head to Wing Ding 39. Uh, I still haven't got me a hotel room. So I'm thinking about driving down every day and coming back late at night. It's only two hours away. That's me uh, versus uh, trying to pay for hotel rooms that's coming up to around six and seven, eight hundred dollars for four days when I'm only two hours away. I just can't see spending that type of money when I can just ride out for a couple of dollars get down there and meet everybody and come on back and then head out the next day but what uh what i've been thinking about doing man is um they got a light parade on the 30th or uh, 31st i'm not sure which day it is it's a light parade cut and a contest uh, to show off your bike and i'm seriously thinking about entering uh entering that that contest to see where I stand on Black Flash and the light show. Uh, everybody telling me, hey man, go ahead and do it. I had a, I had, I had a couple of people mention it to me uh, from the GWRRA Association. And I'm thinking it's a, it might be a, you know, a challenge for me to get out there and show everybody, I'll show my bike off to everybody. But at the same time, you know, it gives me an idea of what everybody else is doing to their bikes too. So I wanted to get y'all opinion on it, you know, about the uh, light show parade. Are, are you going, you know, are you going to enter your bike if you've been working on it, putting lights on it? You know, it's not the fact that you're trying to win, you know, it's just the fact that, hey, you want to show off your work. 
and uh, I'm all about that, man, letting everybody see, you know, what I've been working on on my bike. And since I'm more into the electrical side of the house, I think the light parade will probably do me some good to get out there and, you know, show off Black Flash, man. So uh, to all my other fellow riders, uh, I hope to meet you out there at Wing Ding 39. <coughs> If you've been working on your bike, I've been watching you on Facebook and YouTube. You know, you got some lights on your bike and you want to show them off. Hey, the Wing Ding 39 light show parade, the light show uh, competition and the parade. <coughs> hey, that'll be a, a pretty good avenue uh, to uh, show off your bike, man. So meet me out there uh, when that time comes, man. I'm going to go ahead and put Black Flash back on... Um, uh, back on this uh, jack stands and uh, finished working on a light set that I'm working on. I came across some uh, some lights that I'm interested in putting on the bike, and it's going to go with my go with my rolling eyes light set. And uh, I'm looking forward to showing it all uh, at the parade and the uh, light show competition. I just got to find more information on how to actually get into the contest and and get into the parade you know is there a fee or something but i don't know i'll i'll find all that information out and hopefully some of my gwrra members uh can help me out on that too and i just want to get down there and you know show the bike off like i said other than that youtube hey that's enough rambling for me today i show y'all what my day has been like so far and after all everything i said I just, basically, I just wanted to say, hey, be safe. Summer is coming up. As you can see, I'm dealing with all this traffic here. And it's all about having some patience, man. When you know that your patience has run out, it's time for you to take a break, man. Because we all feel like, you know, we all get to that point where it feel like everybody on the road is out to get us. Yeah, I definitely feel like that sometimes. Especially when you got a lot of drivers who are out, you know, intentionally just causing havoc on the road don't know why i still haven't figured that one out yet but all in all you two hey y'all be safe that's my spiel for the day you two y'all have a good one